Okay, today we are going to be working on how to combine 3D models into an assembly drawing. Again, I'm using AutoCAD 2013 for a Mac. And it, it may differ based on what kind of computer and what model of AutoCAD you are using, but it, it is generally, generally the same. Okay, so first we are going to work on how to use the layer manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a box. And we're going to do, make it, put it in the origin again. So zero, tab, zero, enter. Uh, let's just make it one by one. And one inch tall, too. Okay. Now, over here is your layer manager. Your layer manager allows you to create different layers, and um, uh, these layers can have multiple shapes on them or just one. And it allows you to build onto an object without altering the essence of the object. So I'm going to show you how it works. So first of all, this box here is in layer 0. Now what if we want to make a new layer and put this box in it? Because layer 0 doesn't really do much. You always want to have separate layers. This corner, over here, this corner, you click on this, make a new layer. So we're going to call this layer box 1. Yeah. Okay? And so we know that our object is in layer 0, as you can see, because it highlights layer 0 as green. So what we want to do is select this box, and it tells you what layer it is. It says layer 0, but we want to move it to box 1. So we just click on that, and now our solid should be in box 1. Okay. Escape. Let's click on this again and make sure that it highlights box 1. There it is. Now that you have your box in the layer box 1, you can change the color of this layer, which means you can go and make it, make it blue. Um, let's see, the freeze over here, you have to be in a different layer for it to work, but see that little snowflake? It's freeze. Um, it highlights right there. That means that you cannot make any adjustments to that layer while you are working in a different layer. The lock does the same thing, except freeze makes the layer disappear the box disappear. I'll show you that in a minute. The lock just makes it stay still. And over here, this lets this little dot lets you make it invisible. That makes sense. Okay, now we are going to make a cylinder. And you know, let's put it in the origin also. So zero, tab zero, enter. There we go. Let's make it one. It's the radius. Let's make it 0.5, which is tall. There. Yeah. Nice little plot. Cylinder. Okay. So, say we want the cylinder to be in a different layer than box 1. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on New Layer. We're going to call this Cylinder. Okay. So now, to move the cylinder over to the cylinder layer, we'll click on it. We go to the layer and click on Cylinder. So now, Cylinder is in the Cylinder layer. You click on the Cylinder, and now it's highlighted in green as Cylinder. And we can also change the color just to be sure. It's magenta now. Okay. Now, as I was saying, you can freeze. I just froze the Cylinder layer. I made it disappear. You can lock it. It means you cannot make any adjustments. Fade it a little bit. Here, you can make it invisible. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the layers. And there you go, you've got it. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to use external references. Now, external references allow you to take another drawing and add it to your current drawing. So, I'll show you how it's done. So, as you see here, I have this wheel thing. So, what I'm going to do is I want to add and a cylinder that goes through this hole and sticks out the other side. I don't want to create my own. I want to use something that's already been created. So to do this, I'm going to type an xref. There you go. You can see the little thing with a plus. It says attach reference. Click on that. As you can see, there's my cylinder. I already made a drawing of it a little earlier. So you click on that and just click OK. There. For now, we'll move it a little later. Okay. And you can see that it's sort of changed color a little bit because it is an external reference. 
Now, I already told you how to use layers, and as you can see, this is in layer 0. Don't use layer 0 on a normal basis. We can change the layer if we want, but we don't need to right now. So, we can move this into there if we need to. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't go all the way through, but that's okay. So, as you can see, I just used an external reference to add another shape to my existing drawing. Now, this is a lot more necessary when you have more complex shapes. You could have just created the cylinder, but especially for the robotics team, if you need to combine multiple pieces that different people have put together, this is the way to do it. Use external references. And, um, well, that's it for this video. Nice job, and thanks for watching.